name is Mavari Marshall, class of 2022 athlete, Barbara Gummer, seeing her. Special shout out to R RTB Films for making this happen. I want to thank my mom, my coaches, my teammates, my family, my friends for putting this all together. Without them, none of this would be possible. You know, a little nervous today, but we'll see where I go. Stay tuned. What it do, man? man? Queen right here. None of this is possible without her. I want to thank the man up above, God. And um, I'm a little nervous, but we're going to see. Uh, I started my journey in 2018. Coming here, you know, I didn't think this was the place for me, but Coach Ari told me to trust the process, keep working. And a lot of people told me that I wouldn't go nowhere coming to this school. But, you know, I had to prove everybody wrong and show them that I could That's do it. Right, you know, my freshman year, we really didn't have a good season, so I was looking to hit the transfer portal and go to another school. But my mama said, just, just be patient, son. Just trust the process. Something's going to happen. So, you know, with God timing, you know, I just trusted the process. You know, God blesses the ones who are most patient. So that's what I did this whole time. So my sophomore year, we turned it up a notch. You know, we lost one game in the championship. You know, it was tough, but... I just kept going and kept going. Year after year, just grinding and grinding. Junior year, we came back. We had a depressing season because it was COVID. You know, I had some family members pass, you know, but I didn't let that get to me. I kept going. And then we went undefeated 8 0, won the championship. You know, eyes was bright. By the end of my junior year, I had the top colleges in the nation hitting my phone back to back to back to back. So I'm like, okay, life good. The start of senior year, None of those colleges was on my radar no more. So it made me look like I did all this for nothing. But then again, I stayed patient and kept going. And that's what made me come be at this spot right here today. At the end of my senior season, I had about four colleges hit my phone, two D1s and two NIAs. So I'm like, yeah, God, good. Um, don't cry. Uh, my junior year track season, I went out. <laughs> Go 
my junior year, I went out in track season, you know, I had, I had expectations to meet. My junior year, I broke the school record in 100 to 200 meters, you know, all-time record number one. And we'll be looking to do the same thing this year. Uh, this decision right here was very tough. It had to come down to the wire and where I felt most comfortable at. A lot of people ain't really believe in me, and they said I'll never go D1. But trust me, I'm going D1. So, you know, I did what I had to do, stay patient, kept grinding. And for the younger, younger ones, you could go D1 from Baba Goma. Don't never let nobody tell you you can't. Because a lot of people told me I didn't. But guess what? If you work hard, they're going to come through every crack and they're going to find you, for real. So just keep grinding, bro. Don't expect to leave, don't leave the school. Just keep grinding. Trust me, Coach Neighbor, Coach Ariel, and all the coaches staff, they got y'all best interest. Just trust them. Just stay patient, and God gonna, God gonna have something for you. Yeah, ready? With that being said, for the next four years of my athletic career, and track career. I will be doing both sports. That's right. I will be taking my talents to drum roll. <laughs> I will be going to Delaware State yeah! This is for my grandma, you know. I lost my grandma during the season, you know. And you know, I really love her, but I had to do this for her, you feel me? I know my grandma proud, she looking at me at the sky. Y'all come up here, man. Right here, and then print your name. Dreams have